All right. <clears throat> so we were doing a job and I uh, took out some specialty tools and <laughs> some people were shocked. So I decided to share these tools. When you've been around the block, you are gonna accumulate specialty tools. Um, so let's, let's just go over them. Crow's foot all the way down from, I guess three eighths all the way to two inch, you know, no problem there. And then you got these, these work pretty good. Pirate chain lines, um, some, some, some hydraulics, not a whole lot. These are specialty uh, sockets, they spread. You can put a hose clamp, but you can still break them. Uh, these are like these um, box stand. You can put them on a ratchet with an extension. Great, love them. These are metric. These are specialty open foot for O2 sensors and whatnot. This one's for hydraulic lines, especially specifically for case, well, inch and a quarter hydraulic lines. Then we get into these. They're ratcheting. They fully enclose, and they will turn a uh, fastener pretty good. But they but they only have uses in certain areas. These right here, as much fumbling as you're gonna do with extensions or ratchets or U joints or whatever, they're gonna get you somewhere. These are for very specific uh, requirements. You gotta have so much room. You gotta you know just a lot of things. I think they make this design, but kind of like like these you know where you can put a ratchet on the end of it like they're short i think snap on makes them but anyway these right here are aircraft hydraulic lines that's what they're called but now we're going to talk about my favorite one the butterfly socket the butterfly socket you put it over what you want and then you close it and then you put your half inch ratchet or your half inch extension with a ratchet and you turn these specifically this set of four which is a seven eight uh let's see here let's see if we can get them real quick right there 23 24 uh 23 24 i don't know why they do that and then you got this one right here three quarters 11 16. these sockets are very good for ac work you're gonna get it off. You might rip everything off with it, but it's gonna come off. It's gonna turn it. I uh, use these um, knock sensors. Great, they work great on knock sensors for the Cummins. But the main reason I got them a long time ago was um, heavy equipment used to. <laughs> oh boy, that was a long time ago. Heavy equipment used to use air brakes. They didn't have uh, spring applied hydraulic release designs like they do now. It was a, it was like a regular big truck. It had air brakes, it had brake chamber, it had, um, you know, compressor, a governor, everything. But the air, uh, especially on the scrapers, I don't know why on the scrapers on on the on the 613, 623s, man, these things were lifesavers. Especially if you were doing the foot valve underneath the operator's compartment, um, they 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 would get it. They would get you somewhere. And like I said, it's called the butterfly. I think they're made by Easy Red. Easy Red's another company that makes them. These are actually Mac tools. Um, I cannot tell you how many times these have just pulled me out of a tailspin. Because once you put these on there, I don't know if you can see it. It has like a little bit of a U to it or a little bit of a, what would it be, convex design. So it grips really good and you will not round out the fastener which is the danger with a lot of these right here you will you could round out the fastener and then you're in trouble um with these you won't and i think with these you won't either you won't round out the fastener quick little video leave a comment have you ever seen these butterfly sockets i've never seen them other than the mac truck i wish um one of these days of course it's like everything else right I needed this when I worked for a certain company. I needed this when I worked for another certain company. I needed this when I did a certain type of other work. And then I needed these in the very beginning when I did heavy equipment uh, where they ran on air brakes, but then it lends itself to AC work. Very versatile, very useful uh, set of, what would you call this? A socket or, or a wrench or an adapter? Hey, what would you call it? Let me know.